In this video, we will talk about reconstruction of the company. Now, reconstruction of the company is found in sections 230 to 232 of the Companies Act 2013. Now, we're talking about reconstruction, we will particularly look at the scheme of arrangement between Bajaj Electricals Limited and Bajaj Pro Projects Limited. Now, during the course of this uh, video, Bajaj Electric Hills Limited will be referred to as the demerged company and Bajel Projects will be referred to as the resulting company. Now, what exactly is reconstruction of a company? Now, when an application has been made to the NCLT under Section 230 of the Companies Act for sanctioning a scheme of compromise or arrangement, it may be shown to the tribunal, in essence, that the scheme involves reconstruction of the company. So what exactly happens in reconstruction of the company? Now, this reconstruction would result in a whole or part of the company's either undertaking or property or liability being transferred to another company or being divided among and transferred to two or more companies. So reconstruction would mean that either the company's undertaking, the property or liability would be transferred to another company or divided and transferred to two or more companies. Now let's look at Bajaj Electricals Limited. Bajaj Electricals Limited announced a scheme of uh, arrangement. Bajaj Electricals has two divisions. Number one, the Consumer Products Division, which uh, deals with appliances, fans, lighting, products, etc. And the Engineering, Procurement and Construction Segment, EPC. This deals with power transmission, power distribution, etc. Now, Bajaj Electricals, as mentioned earlier, focuses on these two segments. Bajaj Projects will now focus on power transmission and power distribution. So what exactly is the scheme of arrangement? The scheme of arrangement provides for the transfer by way of a demerger. Okay, so transfer by way of a demerger of the demerged undertaking. What is a demerged undertaking? The EPC segment of the company. Of the demerged company. Demerged company is Bajaj Electricals. So the transfer by way of demerger. So demerging the EPC part of Bajaj Electricals into a resulting company. The resulting company is Bajaj uh, Projects on a going concern basis and consequently the issue of equity shares in the resulting company to the shareholders of the existing Bajaj Electricals. So what is the share swap ratio? So every shareholder having one share, having one share of Bajaj Electricals, one share of face value rupees 2 fully paid up will get one share in the new company, the resulting company, namely Bajaj, Bajel Projects. So one is to one, basically. Now what's the rationale behind this uh, scheme of arrangement? You see, Bajaj has two separate divisions, both of them completely different from each other, and therefore it would like to focus on both these uh, companies separately. How will this separate focus help them? It says that the risk, competition, challenges, opportunities and business methods of the EPC segment are completely di uh, different from the, uh, from the existing Bajaj electricals which deals with uh, consumer products such as fans, appliances, lighting appliances, etc. So since the risk, competition, challenges and opportunities are different for both these companies, it would like to focus on them separately. Because of the separate focus, these two separate companies can attract its own set of uh, strategic partners, its own set of investors, its own set of lenders, and therefore scale up in growth and profitability. 
will also help the company in streamlining operations and in the expansion structure for better and efficient management control. It will also help unlock shareholder value. So investors can now invest in either the electricals part of the company or the EPC part of the company. Also, the, both the companies will have independent and distinct capital allocation approach, different balance sheets. So, in a nutshell, what exactly is this scheme of arrangement proposing to achieve? It's proposing to create a sector-focused companies, streamline the management structure, unlock shareholder value, bring friends, businesses from each other, and finally better risk management.